Morning all. This is um, day 44 post-op, essentially six weeks in. Um, sort of feel like all of the uh, easy gains have now been made. Um, sort of talking about all of the improvements and regains that I get just by just by making an effort or just by time passing as well, you know, things healing, so to speak. Um, me walking is there or thereabouts where it used to be, except there's still uh, a taxi at present in, in all things that I do. Um, you know, be it just basic clumsiness or is it what feels like a tractor beam pulling me off to the left um, if I'm walking, um, still so, but less so when I'm uh, when I'm crawling. Uh, single leg standing, I always fall to the left. Uh, if I'm doing the wall stretch, um, it's pulling me over to the left again. So um, I'm not sure if and when the double vision goes, whether that's going to be linked with that. Although the pull to the left is still there for shut my eyes. So I, uh, whilst it be improved, I don't think that's uh, the be all and end all of it. Um, all of the primitive patterns with respect to the exercise suite are improving and getting stronger although the improvement rate isn't as it was uh, initially which is, I suppose is, is as you'd expect um, I'm going to have to start looking for some um, more complex patterns to, to try and explore um, but not necessarily, or, or rather not ones which are based on all of the primitive set that I've got there, because um, they're they're not um, they're not squared away to the level that I'd like, so it's uh, a little bit difficult. The um, the Turkish get up is a is a winner. Uh, whilst I can I can do a body weight Turkish get up, uh, left side and right side, um, it it's nowhere near the quality where I could try and load it and not have some sort of accident. Um, the step back into the into the lunge position, uh, when I step back with the the left foot, uh, not not so bad. And I've once or twice been able to hold the lunge position without grounding the knee or before grounding the knee. Uh, when I step back with the right, uh, obviously left foot forward, now I've done a little bit all over the show there. So there's, there's still big gains that can be made by cleaning up that uh, the patterns involved there, which is, is obviously it's it's just about the the best stability and all over stability exercise that is. But there's loads of blank spaces in in there, which uh, I suppose they're what I'm chasing down now. Um, uh, it's going to start taking discipline and intelligence really with the exercises I select and and how how often I do them. I think in some ways, um, yeah, your your recovery, you know, once you've got all of the easy wins, yeah, your recovery is is going to match your movement lifestyle, uh, or will correspond to your movement lifestyle, and your movement lifestyle will correspond to your recovery. Um, you know, where the the model I'm using is one that's based on a baby. Obviously, that baby's got not just complete mobility but it's also got boundless energy um you know uh, that i certainly haven't got the energy at the minute and uh well i'm doing my best with, with my mobility it's better than most able-bodied people i would say uh but still not where i'd like it but given i'm not terribly mobile throughout the, the majority of the day it's a bit of a challenge uh just something i've got to keep working with it, it certainly ain't poor me um just um just gotta keep finding inventive ways and keep up keep up the discipline that when I am resting I'm trying to do so in an authentic position. Um uh, still a little constipated. Um you know, just going once a day, each time laying some proper cable as well, like but it's a little bit uncomfortable. The um, problems with the diaphragm um and swallowing uh, still persist. I'm going to be off to see the um, the doctors today. That was uh, an appointment with the, the occupational therapist who turned up, I think it was the week before last, um, arranged. I think as I reported in one of the prior blogs, they turned up expecting to see, you know, 
uh, see him as a bit of a cabbage, he's still unable to walk, etc. And, and so the occupational therapist couldn't actually do anything for me. And they said I was, at, you know, was potentially months ahead of, uh, of the recovery curve. Uh, but the, the diaphragm and, uh, and larynx was still a bit of a concern. I remember when I had an ear, ear nose and throat um, consultant to have a look at me in uh, the hospital. You know, stick the hard camera up the nose and, and down the, uh, the pharynx. Um, one half, the, the, the left hand side of the, uh, the vocal cords weren't working and the right hand side was compensating for all of it. Um, which was a little consistent with the damage from the hemorrhage as all of it was down, all of the deficits were down the, the right hand, wrong left hand side. Um, still got um, altered sensation in my hands, uh, more so in my right. Still can't detect temperature in there either. Um, and when I do me, me foam rolling, um, there's a, a a lot of stroke altered sensation in a lot of the deeper muscles, especially up the back. Uh, and I would say the, the QL, the quadratus lumborum on the, the left hand side. Um, I think the QL has a ligamentous and obviously fascial link to the diaphragm. Whether whether that could, could be an issue or not, I don't know. Um, another thing as well, uh, which is a bit of a uh, concern is I get well, to use the, the fancy term for it uh, orthostatic hypertension when I uh, when I get up from um, uh, some of the floor exercises orthostatic hypertension is uh, a drop in blood pressure uh, associated with when you're lying down and then get up too quickly or similar um, uh, so yeah, that's a bit of a concern. I think I'll throw that one at the GP today when I see him. Um, you know, I've, something which keeps nagging at me as well is uh, more more fancy words a, a VBI, which is a vertebro bacilla insufficiency. Uh, there's a tag name for it, I think, which is beauty parlor syndrome, which you see when birds go and um, get their hair done and get it washed and have that sink cutting into the neck. What a VBI is, is um, the arteries coming up, feeding the brain from the back of the neck when they get occluded for some reason. Uh, the usual pathology is uh, atherosclerosis, which is blockages, uh, fatty buildups, etc., in the, in the arte arteries. Uh, but, you know, beauty parlor syndrome, you'll get the occlusion there. And I am wondering whether it's related to the problems I've got, uh, I think, in cervical vertebrae, uh, potentially one to five, certainly one to three. Uh, that's massively improving the range of motion when looking to the left and right are improved. And also the 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 obstacles seem to be muscular now, or, or the barriers I'm hitting are muscular. I'm sure there'll be someone's, uh, uh, which are actually caused by inflammation around the vertebrae which would be behind those barriers, but the first ones I'm hitting are muscular. Um, I'm going to be getting myself a sports massage today and seeing the legend that is Paddy Phillips tomorrow for a um, bit of osteopathic intervention, amongst other things. So, um, if I get any changes from all of these things or any info from the, the GP, I'll uh, record another one of these as, uh, as soon as. If not, I'll leave it as the, what is now a sort of weekly instalment um, and as ever the promise I'll focus in a bit more on the exercise suite and um, tie all that together in a more formal way. Anyway, cheers sports fans, see you later.